one. Welcome to a video on how to get good at Captain Cannon. Perhaps the most unfair pirate in the game. Players who are able to master the art of this explosive heap of bullshit will be able to score kills so unfair that it actually makes Overwatch look like a fair game. Let's get started. Captain Cannon is a variant of the pirate class and is one of the three manual detonation variants in the game. Like the other manual detonation characters, Captain Cannon's primary shares their functionality of being able to detonate their shots mid-flight, causing them to explode, making them ideal for corner checking or for fast moving targets. His sniper can fire at up to 85 rounds per minute and his shotgun can fire at 125 rounds per minute with them sharing 8 rounds per clip before needing to take a 2 second reload. Each shot fired from the shotgun can deal 25 damage per hit. Alternatively, the sniper can deal 40 damage for a normal hit, 46 for a critical hit, and up to 32 damage for the manual explosion. Because of the nature of his weapon, it may be somewhat awkward to use at first, though once you manage to get the swing of things and realize that this old fuck has more devastating power than fucking Chernobyl, then you can very easily use it to your advantage and complete mop the floor with anyone who dares oppose you. The optimum upgrade setup for Captain Cannon would be the ammo, reload, and damage upgrades, with the ammo upgrade being especially important as due to Captain Cannon's relatively small clip of only 8 ammo means that having additional ammo will go a long way, especially since the small ammo count heavily restricts the amount of use that your shotgun will get, and the damage upgrade whilst it doesn't affect the manual detonations, it does make scoring direct hits much much more rewarding as it does reduce the number of direct hits against pea shooters and cacti. Perfect for if you are able to land your hits. In terms of strengths, Captain Cannon can very easily output large amounts of damage, and with his manual detonation explosions being relatively large in size, it means that very little precision is required in using his sniper. His large explosion radius also means that he can take on multiple enemies at once, which is something that most other pirates tend to struggle with. However, Captain Cannon does preform rather poorly at long range in comparison to the other pirates as due to his projectile being significantly slower than all the other variants it does make long range combat noticeably more difficult. Captain Cannon's shotgun also has the least amount of range out of all the pirates shotguns, having only a maximum range of 5 meters, which when paired with the limited ammo supply, does mean that his shotgun does underperform in a handful of situations. Thanks to this guide, you will now be the master of making the enemy team's lives miserable as you use the power of a free wind simulator to grant yourself victory even in the face of certain defeat. Be sure to come back for the next episodes next week. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.